What's up everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory. As you might notice, the video is running incredibly fast in the background. Now that is because I'm having a few issues with my microphone and for some unknown reason it decided it didn't want to t work properly. It made me sound like Batman and it kept cutting out as much as I want to be a superhero. Don't particularly want that voice for videos, so I've just done this voice overlay afterwards. Now what I'm doing in this video, I am showing off all the progress I've been doing off camera. So I have gone out, I have found coal, and I've set up a Mark II miner over there to be bringing coal back to my base. I've also completed the tractor, which depending on where I am in the playthrough, I might even be driving around on right now. This entire video was took about 20 minutes to record overall, and it's going to condense down to probably about 2 or 3 minutes most likely. So after we get the coal sorted, what I'm then doing is trying to set up my, for myself a reinforced iron plate production line. Now anybody that has played this game, or indeed watched the videos, will know that reinforced iron plates are a pain to make because they take screws and iron plates. To make screws you need iron rods. So what I'm doing is setting up a constructor to lead from my completely full box of iron rods, goes from there into a constructor and turns it into screws, and then feeds into an assembler, which is a constructor that has two inputs, So which I might be doing round about now, I'm not too sure. And then I've also got the iron plates running into that, and then pumping out gradually, very, very slowly, the reinforced iron plates which I am so happy with because all of the later stages of production in this game require the reinforced iron plates. I've also gotten myself this lovely coal generator. No idea when I'll be building that. It's some point in the video. But yeah, we've got an amazing coal generator and even plumbed that into our coal mine where we've got a conveyor splitter leading up into the generator and the other end leading into the coal storage, which I'm going to have to demolish and move basically. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is find and set up a second iron mine and actually have steel production, because I have now unlocked steel, going on on the second floor. And to make steel you need iron ore and you need coal. And I've already got two iron mines being split into three, three forges, so I don't particularly want to split it even more. So what I'm going to do is set up a separate iron mine with a miner Mark II, because I have them now, and have that going up to the top floor of the factory, and connect that in with my coal mine as well, so we can actually get a decent amount of steel production. But I'm probably going to be doing all of that in the next video. I just wanted to keep you all on track and updated so you know what was happening in the series. So yeah, I apologise for this. Definitely not ideal, 20 minute video down to about three and a half, four minutes. For those that want to see a bit more satisfactory, I am going to be streaming it. Oh, actually, by the time this video goes out, I will have already streamed it. I'm going to start doing, on my days off, a couple of, just an hour or two long day, daytime streams as well. So they'll be at about 4pm GMT for a couple hours, and then I'll stream again at 9pm. So, I hope you all enjoyed this lovely time-lapse of me building a bit of a factory. Goodbye.